sausage in my mouth. I've got sausage in my teeth. Guys, I absolutely loved Burnt. I thoroughly enjoyed it, oh, sort of the premiere. But for people who obviously haven't seen it yet and think it's just a cooking movie, tell us what more you think it offers than just cooking. I don't think it's a cooking movie at all. I think it's a, it's a portrait of a man who is battling against himself. Um, and the backdrop is a kitchen, which is a fascinating world that I'm, I, I know a lot of the world is into. Um, but it's about relationships and, and struggles and resistance and like and it's a real kind of moral tale, mm -hmm. you know, it's a redemption story, I would say. Well Bradley, you very much fought to get Sienna in this park, so you obviously worked with her on American Sniper. What is it about her that you you thought she is so perfect for this role? Well, I, I didn't fight anybody <laughs> except her to do it. Um, it, it was well received, mm -hmm. the, the idea. Um, I, I just knew she, first of all, she's one of the best actors I've ever worked with and um, she ups your game. Uh, when you're in a scene with her, and she's viciously intelligent, uh, also, um, and you know, I just knew that she was going to surprise all of us. So she showed up the first day with the back of her head shaved and tattoos, uh, <laughs> you know, peppered throughout her body, and then um, you know, just had this gait too that had changed too. This sort of like I don't know, tough guy, <laughs> sort of demeanor. Yeah, and she was just all of a sudden there was Helene, and it was amazing. It's nice to hear stuff like oh, it's that. It's lovely. <laughs> and, and yeah, I would reciprocate it tenfold. Everyone is going to want to, obviously, going to be asking you cooking related stuff and whether you're good cooks and all this. But you always want to know about kitchen nightmares. I mean, I'm not a good cook. Um, I can burn like cheese on toast, and I have done, and I've thrown a tantrum. Um, so, for you guys, have you had any kitchen nightmares that you can share with us? I've set things on fire. I, I cook rice in a way where I put a bit of kitchen roll under the thing to sort of steam it. And there have been times when I've absentmindedly done that and it's set fire and then there's fires going on. How about you, Brad? I've microwaved popcorn one time and I pushed 55 minutes instead of five minutes and the, and the whole thing, the, the, the plate underneath cracked and blew up. There's nothing like the smell of burning popcorn. You can't get rid of that for, for days. Yeah. And I was 12 years old. Um, and why do you think that gourmet chefs have got such this 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 fire and temperament kind of reputation surely because i mean we never lose our tempers that much in the kitchen do we but have you ever cooked for 70 people no i haven't i barely cooked for myself right yeah <laughs> imagine the pressure's immense it's really really hot mm. it's timed to perfection if one person is late on timing the entire thing is destroyed and that means that an animal died for that steak that was pointless you know they, they take all of this into consideration yeah. it sounds mad but it's they're that respectful of the produce they're that respectful of the product and it's their vision and they're relying on a lot of people and they it, the atmosphere is very charged I think it once you've experienced it it kind of makes sense well it gave us a great insight into that side of things as well and you guys are great in it, so thank you so thank much. Thanks for, thanks good for luck talking with, to us. Good luck with the film. Yeah. Pleasure to thank meet you. You too. Yeah.